Heritage Village sits on a 100-acre site, housing over 20 buildings dating back from the 1700s to the 1920s. From the moment you arrive, you are transported back in time, where you can stroll through the collection of historic buildings that have been carefully preserved and moved here from various locations throughout Windsor, Essex, and Chatham, Kent. Each of these buildings tells a unique story of the people and communities that once inhabited them, giving a glimpse into the past. The village is open until four o'clock, but we reserved a special night investigation. Donna, the coordinator, graciously gave us a tour of the properties and we picked our top six locations to investigate. The Waggett House, originally built by the Waggett family in Kingsville in 1869, the ghost of Miss Waggett continues to keep a close eye on the home long after she's departed this earth. The Woodsley Jail, circa 1895, moved to the village in 1997. People have reported being touched within the holding cells. Belinda General Store, established by John Fox in 1840 and moved to the village in 1982, once served as a stagecoach shop for coaches in their way to Windsor and housed many shopkeepers, family members, and visitors in its upstairs apartment. There's a doll inside the store that allegedly responds to negative remarks. The school, built in 1907, where children attended grades one to eight before electricity was invented. Tecumseh train station, circa 1860, moved to the village in 1976. During World War II, many tanks, trucks, jeeps, and other military vehicles manufactured locally were transported past through these doors. Jack Minor Homestead, built in 1916 and moved to the village in 2003. It belonged to Jack and Leona Minor until they died and was handed down to the next generation. They had five children and two passed away. Carl at the age of 13, and Pearl at only three. are literally left here by ourselves as the sun's going down here at Heritage Village, Ontario. Now we do have an on-site contact if anything happens, but I feel like a kid in a candy shop alone here in this playground of paranormal. So we're very blessed. Thank you so much, Donna, for your wonderful knowledge and hospitality. We are starting with the Waggett House, 1869. Mr. and Mrs. Waggett lived here and we're told that she does not like any of her belongings touched so we'll try to be very respectful but she may have enough with us early on so let's do this hello Waggett family we are back oh it is definitely creepier now that the sun has gone down i remember walking on the floorboards here and this wall kind of moves so not a bang we're here at the Waggett house tonight richard and i We've got the door open for some circulation because there is no electricity in here. But we just want to say if there's any spirits in here tonight, including Mr. and Mrs. Waggett, we'd like to summon your presence. Can you let us know that you're here with us this evening? Can you knock on the wall, make a floorboard creak? We mean no harm and would love to communicate with you. We've put a couple of cat balls around here and I've got the EMF reader. It's gonna walk through some of the rooms. We put the REM pod in here. Are there any spirits? I've got an EMF reader in my hand. You can spike it to let us know that your energy is here. I know you used to live in this house back in the 1800s. Do you mind? Oh, I just saw the spiking. 
Do you mind? Oh, can you do that again? As I was looking at this picture, this just spiked. Any children here with us tonight? We'd like to summon the ghost of Mr. and Mrs. Waggett. And maybe they're a bit shy. Possibly. Well, you're used to having people coming through your space and sharing your space with you. I heard something back here. Come out, come out wherever you are. There's definitely some tapping back here. Mrs. Waggett, is that you back here in the kitchen? It's quite dark back here. It's like a tapping. We're going to start a spirit box session to see if we can communicate with any of the Waggetts here. We received a couple flicks on our EMF, but I feel like they're a little hesitant. Maybe this will help invoke. Okay, spirits, please communicate with us through this device. This is spiking. Spirits, hello, is that you? I'm hearing hello. Check, are there any Waggetts here with us? Yes. Who am I speaking with? I heard the C word. Constitution? Mrs. Waggett, are you here with us? Here. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Thank you for having us. Is it okay that we're sitting in your living room? Why do you remain in this house? Get out. Oh, what happened there? The light just went out. The light just went out. That's our light. Can you do that again? Can you turn off this flashlight? Oh, it's blinking. Forgive you. Forgive you for what? Mrs. Waggett, can you drain the light from this flashlight for me? It's too hard. You can use my energy to achieve this. I believe. I believe. I believe, that's what I heard. We believe you're here with us, but can you make your presence known? I heard a young child's voice. Mm -hmm. Is there a child with us? Yep. Here. So this is the child room. We just had a child come through on the spirit box and we're taking a look. Did that just move? I don't know, I don't think so. But this is where the child would probably stay. So this is the child room. We just had a child come through on the spirit box and we're taking a look. Did I just move? I don't know, I don't think so. Who are we speaking with? What's up? What's up? What's up with you? <laughs> You have a lot of beautiful belongings here. Do you mind if I touch your piano? Do you mind if I touch your cutlery? Do it. Do it. Is this your fork? This is Waggett. 
Stop it. So Mrs. Wagner did not like when I touched her cut right? And I knew that would trigger her and create a reaction. She did say stop it to me, so of course I did. But she just wanted to, sh to share her space. This was her family built home in 1869. Okay, what's next? The police house? Yes, let's go to the jail cell and see uh, if we can feel. We have hydro in here, so we might as well just use the lights and not bring in the lights. Back into the jailhouse rock, baby. Policier. Love the creek. Hello, spirits, criminals, those convicted of crimes. We are Blair and Rick back here. We'd love to communicate with you. So in order to do so, we brought some equipment that we're gonna set up in this general area where a lot of stuff went down. What did you do? Did you commit treason? Murder? Adultery. <gasps> I love the chains. Now, Donna said not to completely close these when we go in here because she doesn't know if she can let us out. So. <laughs> That is the chain I just moved. You got a good old piss pot there for you? <laughs> is that what it's for? Mm-hmm. Wow. I wonder if there was a lot of females that were convicted. No, nah, probably not as much as men. We know very well that Lizzie Borden didn't even get convicted. No, well, this is a holding cell before they go to court. So I'm going to sit in here. There have been allegations of people feeling touched while they're in here. So I might actually like to do the Estes method in here because when you remove all sensory from your self, your vision, and you're just locked in, if someone is going to touch you, you're more vulnerable to feel it. <coughs> Don't close that, I'm really claustrophobic. No, I won't, just slowly. Just like that, I'm not gonna close it. All right. If there's anyone that wants to touch me, <laughs> please keep it gentle. You're charged with. Really? That's hilarious. Who who are we speaking to? Who's here with us today? We're here at the. Uh, me. You. Who are you? We're here at an old jail, late 1800s. Trying to speak to potential ex-criminals now dead. Someone. Someone, yep. Who is that someone? Hell. Hell? Yeah, it's like hell in here probably. What did you do? What was your crime? First degree. Wow, so it's a murder case. So you were held here for murder. Who did you murder? Well. Do you have a name? I heard a scream, it was like, ah! It's dark. Did you murder someone? So what? So you did murder someone. Felt better. Well, you're evil. Who did you murder? How old was Neighbor. You? Your neighbor? You murdered your Shut neighbor. Shut it! Oh, that was loud. Well, so it looks like you murdered your neighbor. I heard a whistle like... <laughs> in there. Well, you're in jail. For murdering your neighbor. The name would be good. It'd be helpful if you had a name. Shut it. I keep hearing shut it. I don't know what you're saying, but he keeps saying shut it. I'm 
someone doesn't want to talk, looks like. Denial. Of course. Years. Criminal's now dead. Probably served 25 years for first degree murder. That sounds like a flash of light. Did you put a flash of light on me? No. Stop that. Stop what? Recording? What's your name? Entity. My duty. You felt it was your duty to kill your neighbor. Clearly it's not. Inflation or something like that. I'm pretty sure that had to do with. Well, some pretty radio good stuff. I mean, your first. Hmm? First degree. First degree. Neighbor. What's going on? Neighbor. Neighbor? What did you say for neighbor? I saw you, you, mur you killed your, you murdered your neighbor. You killed his neighbor. First degree murder, I'm thinking. I know, I heard first degree. I'm, th I'm thinking. What's going on? I'm thinking of first degree murder and killed his neighbor. He's trying to get a name. Was this going on? I didn't notice it unless it's on camera. He gave us one last beep. Well, thank you, whatever person that was in here. That was know. interesting because the first thing you said was uh, prison, I think, or something. I actually said prison? I don't was it prison? No, uh, uh, something regarding uh, incarceration. I thought it was. Well, incarceration? <laughs> so someone was incar incarcerated? Sounds like a first degree murder. Was it a boy or a girl? Do you they know? didn't, and they didn't answer. I asked for a name. Can you light this up if you're a boy? Can you light it up to the yellow, please? What about if you're a girl? Can you light it up now? Probably not many girls. Were. No, ninety-five percent would be guys for sure. Yeah. It'd be interesting to backtrack because in the beginning it was a couple good. It was funny how it made I sense. Feel, I didn't feel touched or anything though. Mm -hmm. This is, see, this is spiking a bit. Okay, so are, are you a boy or a girl? Not well, spiking. Are you a boy? Spike it if you're a boy. It's a boy. You think so? Oh, okay, Just for like sure. It. Pretty cool. There's definitely some oh, yeah. residual haunting in here for people that were held before they were oh, yeah. going to court. For so sure. I'm pretty satisfied. Even, yeah, even if someone did uh, commit a murder, they would put them in here. Yeah, I don't like being in here. I grew up in a very small bedroom, so I'm like used to small spaces, yeah. but I don't feel empowered. All you have are your thoughts. Yeah, it's like my, my Aunt Benina's room. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right, that was good. That was interesting, very yeah. interesting. Short, yeah. short but sweet, you know? Short but sweet. We've got more places to see. came on and I'm just trying to hear if there's any relevance. We're still in the jail. Save your tears. Kind of like a in mourning, like I did it kind of song. Creepy. I'm gonna Shazam this and see some of the lyrics to it. Came on by itself. The general store is just like glowing red, and there's fireflies around too that are also glowing, so it's very creepy cool. This was a store that was built in the 1800s. People went for general supplies, and also people stayed in here. There's an apartment upstairs. So people actually lived here. I don't know if you can see that at all. There we go. My husband just shined a bright light. See that at all. There we go. My husband just shined a bright light on it. So we're going to make our way in to the store very respectfully. 1840. 1840, huh? Definitely Niagara on the Lake vibes. What, what did you call that place? The Apoth... Apothopy? Oh, the pharmacy was called. The pharmacy in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Honey, we're home. <laughs> I don't, this 
it's locked. Oh, is this one locked? Oh, it's a push. Blonde moment. Okay, so this doll is the one that allegedly haunts the place. I don't really care for creepy dolls myself, but we'd like to see if we can provoke this little ginger to give us some reaction. Try to be very respectful of all the vintage items in here. Oh, do you hear something beeping in there? Mm -mm. No, I think it's the spirit box temperature gauge, probably because we locked it up in here. It's called the Olinda General Store, established by John Fox in 1840. Is John Fox here with us today, the establisher of this beautiful store? So the haunted doll apparently doesn't like when you say negative remarks to it. So I've already called her a ginger. <laughs> um, I love a ginger. Who is that supposed to be? It's you. Can you light this up if you're residing in this doll? Can I touch your hair? I know a lot of people don't like when their hair is touched. Did you brush your hair today? It doesn't look like it. It's very curly. Looks kind of messy there. How long have you been living in here? Oh, this is lighting up. How long? Okay. How many years? Wow. Hello. This just spiked to the yellow, right? That's crazy. That doll's possessed. Do you think so? That's weird. I don't really what? believe in haunted dolls. Oh, what is the thing going on? I don't know. So you're in there, huh? I'm not afraid of you. That was weird, that random spike, huh? Oh, this thing's going off now too. It's doing that Morse code thing. Hello, is there anyone here with us? John Fox, are you here? Kind of makes me want to turn this on to see if we can get some names. Okay. Definitely some activity in this general store. Can we please get the name of this doll? Ingrid? Did you hear Ingrid? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your name's Ingrid, huh? What century are you from? What did she say? Oh, sounded creepy. Hey. Imagine her eyes just blink. That would freak the shit out of me. Watch me. Watch me? Watch you. We're watching you. All eyes are on you, Ingrid. That's an old hell name, too. That is very old. Are you afraid of those? No, no, no. They're creepy, but... Can you say one of our names? Blair or Rick? Some cups. Some cups. There are some cups in here. How many of us are there? I heard three. I heard three. What are your names? Guess. Sleeping? The ghost sleep? If you're here, can you light up one of the cat balls we've placed around here? Oh, there's a light down here, but... There's a cuckoo clock. I used to have one of these growing up. We mean you no harm. We were just... We were just teasing Ingrid. You little brat. Yes. Do you agree she's a brat? Because she's kind of snarky to us. Ooh, that sounded kind of dark. Mm -hmm. Unless it was like, wah! I don't think they'd be playing that song on AM radio. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring this 
towards this general area. I'm not going to go upstairs. Donna mentioned they use it for storage now, but my battery's drained too, so I gotta be cautious. Well, thank you for having us in your general store. We don't leave with any goods, just a good experience. I feel like I've seen too many Jason movies. <laughs> If he just comes running out here, I'm gonna myself. I ain't afraid of no ghost, but I'm a scared of a freaking masked man. Oh, my, uh, it's a ghost, but <laughs> no big deal, no big deal. <laughs>